Hey guys, how you doing? Mike Tannick back here with more Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12. It's time to get off this planet, guys. That is what we're going to do today. Uh, I did, however, have to make further modifications uh, to this beast of a uh, CV that we've made. Very interesting. First things first, we needed an advanced constructor, and because of its height, the only place we could fit it is in the bay. And for now, that's just fine because we don't have anything that fits in here. So that was the first change. We do have an advanced constructor. Second is I organized um, the Sky Fortress items. We obviously have the fridge. We have fuel in O2, because before we only had this single container where everything got shoved in, this one. Uh, and there's still some items that probably need to be sorted, like steel blocks don't belong there. Uh, Night vision doesn't belong there. Uh, we have base and ship items over here. We have uh, weapons and ammo over here, along with personal items. I should put that in there too, because I'm gonna throw the night vision in. So we're a little bit more organized now. Um, wow, we have three pulse lasers, nice. And those are for CV SVs? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, next, uh, this thing, at first relied solely on... Let me turn the signals on so I can get back up here. Relied solely on um, the aerodynamic flight mechanics. And it had no rear thrust whatsoever. So with the loot that we got from the uh, abandoned factory place that we just um, annihilated, we were able to build four medium thrusters. There's going to be two on each side. So now it acts like a normal ship. In fact, now it flies like an incredibly large SV, so I'm actually very happy with that. So that is really all the changes I made. But before we go, we have one very important thing to take care of. It is time. I ripped everything out of the opportunity, including the core. Um, it's, all, it's all on the ship. We are packed and ready to go. This thing, this infernal hover bike, the thing that is bane, bane of my existence from day one of this, it's time to go. And I'm sorry it has to be this way. You always knew it was going to be this way. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got to go. You are dead to me. You piss me off so goddamn bad. Boom! <laughs> Oh god, that was so, so cathartic. Hey, I had light armor in there, who knew? Oh god, you're, there's still part of you left. I'm sorry, I can't live. I can't leave knowing that you still have a core and thingies all over. No, you are going down. Woo! <laughs> yes. Oh. Ah, that is what you get. That is what you get. I'm leaving. Thanks for the memories. Time to go. Alright guys, so... I do have somewhat of a plan. Now, before I thought that I knew exactly where we were going, but what I want to do is I want to invade Xerax space. Uh, we are going to explore some of their stars for a while, and we do have the resources with which to do it. We have the pentaxids, uh, we have the, the fuel of all kinds, we got uh, plenty of, well not plenty, but a good amount of promethium to get us where we're going. Now I did set the small constructor to build us some more uh, pentaxid, uh, processed pentaxid, there we go. And what we're going to do here is this, nope, uh, we got to switch sides here. Uh, so this will be player, we'll do sky fortress. Uh, Nope, that's not the one. Container controller. And over here, let's get the pentaxid tank. Should be quicker. There. We still got plenty of pentaxid left, too, uh, for both the shields and the warp drive. And I'm going to. You got to continue to make it, little guy. You got to continue to make it. Keep going. We're going to need it. I have a feeling. Uh, let's also. Yeah, while we're here. Uh, we'll switch sides here. Alright. This will be... Container controller. This will be... Oxygen. Oops. Fuel in O2. There we go. Fill her up. 
That's plenty. Got lots of fuel. Don't have to worry about that, but let's top off since we're here. Use some fusion cells. That'll get us where we're going. Okay, let's power up and let's get the hell off this rock. I know that we never visited the moon. I have no interest in visiting the moon, guys. I really don't. So let's get all this up. Thrusters. And we are over CPU because of uh, the things that I added. That's all right. Uh, we will survive on 93%. All right, save a template, guys. Did you see that? Save a template. I'm so happy for me. Now let's go. It looks, there's some problems with the clouds in Alpha 12. If you guys notice, it looks like somebody took the picture of it into like paint and ran the eraser across them. So, yeah, it's it's kind of odd, but that's okay. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see if there is anything worth looking at around us. Uh, we have, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and check this out. So what kind of... We might, just might have a Prometheum asteroid that we... If it's Prometheum, then then we'll get it. If not... Alright, let's turn auto brake off and let's coast. And we got a lot of... Uh, we got a lot of question marks marked here, and I think those are all resources. So maybe, just maybe... Oh no, that's not a resource. That's no star. What are you? Uh, yeah, there's a top distillery. Man, this thing has a range of 24,000 kilometers. I love it. I love the CV detector. All right, what's that? That is a Polaris ship. We don't have to worry about that. That's cobalt. We could get that. What, what are you? It's got to get within apparently like two and a half kilometers maybe, or three kilometers. Let's see what you are. What are you? What are you? Silicon. We are short on silicon. You know what? Let me, let me have a go with this cobalt asteroid real quick. It's auto break here. Get down. Come on, come on. I'm going to have to add some additional thrusters on the top and bottom of this thing if we are to uh, eventually survive. But since I do have the epic drill, I'm just going to take a little bit of cobalt because we are short on that. Uh, there were no cobalt deposits on uh, the planet. And there may very well have been on the moon, but I, again, I'm not interested in sticking around this system at all. Okay. Uh, do I have my EVA boost on? I do. All right. Let me drop this light armor off, though. Oh, dude, do I have gravity? No, there's no gravity generator here. Okay. Good to know. All right, yeah, you get in there. I, okay, Mike, put this, put the explosives away. Good God, man. O2 station, don't need it. Come on, let's go. I don't have a radiation boost though. I mean, I do have one, but I'm not using it. Uh, let's go ahead and connect to the container controller. There we go. Put all this in there. Just gonna hit this real quick. We're not gonna spend a lot of time mining, but I want to get at least some. And again, the storage on the container controller on the Sky Fortress is only uh, 64,000. So again, it's not full blown. I probably could extend it if I have a look to see where the uh, controller is. I'm sure I could extend it some. Oh man, this epic drill just shreds. It shreds, guys. I'm so glad I did that mission. Okay. Excellent. Alright. Just gonna take my fair share and be on my way. Oh, wow. I already blasted all the way through the asteroid. I love this thing. And we got all this crushed stone we can handle. Alright. Alright. All right, let's go. We might hit that uh, silicon asteroid as well. Where's me ship? There she blows. All right. Oh, there's quite a bit more here. Let me just have a quick swipe at it. There we go. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see, how much did we get there?
No, not that. Cobalt. Good, that's a good amount for where we're at right now. I'm upside down and I don't care. Do, 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 do. And let's go. So, where the hell was that, uh, what was it, silicon? Yeah, silicon asteroids right behind us. This thing doesn't handle as well in zero G's, I have to say. It does have some RCS's in it, but again, it's not really relying on RCS's, it's relying on, um... Uh, where is it? Seriously, am I missing it? Where did you go? Where did you go? I seriously just had it. There, Jesus Christ. Uh, auto break off. Let's see, how much silicon do we have? Not a lot. In fact, we have the least, that is our shortest, besides um, Promethium, which I don't hope to find here. I, there are Promethium asteroids. And maybe we'll check that one down to the bottom right, since it's only 6k away. Alright. Uh, there, there's, where's the big part of it? Uh, right there, alright. Bring around. This thing handles not good at all in space. I got. I gotta say, this is definitely not. I'm not gonna turn this into our battle tank or our uh, battle CV for sure. This is gonna be a throwaway. But the important thing is, it gets us off the damn planet. All right, let's just have a quick swipe at this. Am I still connected? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. This is going to help us build our base for sure. As a matter of fact, I'll show you guys which base I have in mind. Uh, and we'll put it in the factory and drop base. I thought about on our next planet doing like hardcore survival and just building my base from the ground up. Like actually building the components. But it'll turn out ugly, guys. It's just going to be a big square block. It'll look like old Soviet block housing or a prison. You know, you don't want that. I want something with a little finesse. I mean, I could take my time in creative mode and, uh, you know, actually build something that looks nice as a drop base so we can, you know, get started right away on a hostile planet, but, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. And it just occurred to me, I did not make extra O2, but we do have lots of ice. I did manage to get lots of ice in my mining endeavors. Okay. All right. Let's go. Ship? Ship, where are you? I know you're here. Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. Oh, I don't want to be upside down again. And look at the lighting effects. Man, they did such a good job on this. Okay, so. This is the one. It's uh, Polaris Module C. And that's the one that uh, I want. So we got to get some stone dust, some growing plots. All that going, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we need carbon substrate. We need about 200, I believe. Um, I need some stone dust. Okay, we'll make 100. And some growing plots. And what kind of growing plots? Is it steel? Concrete. Okay, we need concrete growing plots, which I believe we can make. Let me get... Uh, hang on. You can make... All right, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, get some nutrient solution actually. So let's go ahead and get over here. Have you uh, I'll put the outputs in here for now? Because you need to make. Oh, you can't make. You need stone dust. Stone dust, I can do. Uh, let's do fridge. There you go. Stone dust. Go ahead and make some nutrient solution as much as you can. Alright, you done yet? Alright. Almost done. Ok, 
Okay, can we pick our buds yet? Wow, we can. Buds, the buds here only give you one, which is kind of frustrating, but it's going to have to work. And we need to put more veggies down. This, do we only have two veggies? Yeah, that's not going to work. We need pumpkins. Oh, well, we'll make pumpkins. That's fine. Um, do this. Fortress refit. There we go. Let's make some stone grow plots. Concrete, I mean. We need 18, was it? Yeah, we need 18. Wow, okay. So it's made two. So another seven, eight, nine. There we go. And we're probably going to need a little bit more nutrient solution than what you're putting out. Can't make any more. Need more stone dust. Of course you do. There. Have some stone dust. Make nutrient solution. Make ten more. There we go. Alright, now we're all working together. Right? Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and we'll leave them to it. And let's get the hell out of here. So let's have a look at the map, guys. All right, so we are in neutral space. We are in the Elyon system. Uh, let's go ahead and show info panel and territories. So, yeah. Hmm, not letting me spin the way I want to. Yeah, I would like to invade Xerax space, so let's go ahead and look. We're at a G-star. Um, I'm kind of curious how we could get to there. That is definitely in Xerax territory, I believe. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it is. But I don't think we can jump all the way there from where we're at. We're going to have to get a little bit closer. Yeah, because where are we? We are in Elyon space. Hmm. Hang on, let's start this over. Alright, yeah, we are at Elyon G. So let's make our way over here. This is an M star. It looks like that is, what is that? Reds, undiscovered. Hmm. Class M stars are by far the most common, about 76% of the main sequence star. However, the stars, red dwarfs, have such low luminosities that none are bright enough to be seen with the unaided eye. Okay, so that might not be the best place to start. How far away is that? 10.4 light years. We could easily reach that and use that as a stepping stone uh, to get into uh, Xerax space. Yeah, I like that. Although we do have a lot of other options here. Let's see. How far is Labesa? 22.4 light years. We could reach that. Hmm. I think we could reach that. Let's try that. Let's try Labesa. I want to get... I mean, there's so much to explore, guys. Uh, over there, that's... Uh, legacy space. I don't want to necessarily go there because a lot of other YouTubers have already done that. What I want to do... Ooh, we could get over... What's in the center of the galaxy? I want to see what's in the center. But first, we build a new bas a bas base in Xerax space to in a habitable place. We're going to find a habitable place that is um full of resources that's better suited to what we are trying to do here. So let me go ahead, take off shields. Hit X. Kill the shields. We're up to spate. And let's go. Oh, finally, guys. And it feels so good to finally get the hell away from there. 
All right, and there is nothing around, is there? Yeah, this is literally just a stepping stone. I don't think there is a single goddamn thing here in this system. There's not. Okay, that's fine. So just make sure we're not flying into the damn sun, please. So, where are we next? That's an F-type star. Um, M-type. And now we are definitely into Xerax space. Here's another M-type. What base, uh... Yeah, let's lock that target. Can we? No, we can't. Is that too far? Or can we just not go there? Okay, let's try this K-star here. On our way, an M-type star. Yeah, that's what I would like to do. Okay, so. Let's get this right. This thing doesn't maneuver well in space. Let's check our Pentaxa tank. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, hello. This is another dead system. And, oh, I don't want any of that. That that is a sun. That is a, that is a bad. That is real bad. We are not doing that. Let's get away from that. <laughs> I can only imagine what the radiation is outside. I'm not going. It'd probably cook me in a second. Here's another G-type star. That's what I want. And it's too far for us. Oh, so we're at La Besa. Can we go here? Yes, we can go there as a stepping stone to get to Kasetu. Because that was the type of star that we had was the G-type, which seems to allow inhabitants, but I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? And boop. Jeez, I, now I'm doubting if we brought enough freaking pentaxid. Yeah, there's nothing here, so we will go away from the sun, please. Thank you. And now we should be able to reach... No, that wasn't it. Uh, it was here. All right, only 8.5 light years away. We got this. So I do have my small constructor working on processing our pentaxid. Uh, we just don't have, wow, there's nothing here either. Wow. All right, this was supposed to be all right, that's fine. We will find. Okay, let's. We're definitely going towards the sun. Let's go this way. Okay, now let's have a look. There is a planet. What is your problem? All right, surface temperature. Wow. Wow. Okay. 5,500 to 60... We're not going there. Clearly. There we go. Bear in. Okay. Undiscovered... Yeah, that does not look... Uh, it is breathable. Uh, it's less gravity, which is good, but 13.4 rads. All right. What about you? It's a lava planet, and what about you? Gorgon, I guess, okay, Gorgon. Uh, the moons, it has lots of moons. Yeah, this doesn't look like the place for us, guys. Door Omega. There are three gold deposits, but there are three gold asteroids. I might come back here for that, but can we? We can get no info on Gorgon. I want to travel there. I I want to. I just want to have a look, guys. So let's have a look at this big old planet, and it looks like maybe a gas giant that we can't uh, that we can't inhabit, but we'll see. We'll see. 
Yeah, we cannot inhabit that. It's got a, some crazy looking moons. So yeah, guys, we're we're not. This isn't the place for us. All right. What about an M-type star? Let's let's have a look over here. Can we get there? It's uh, Al Alixia, Alixia. And how? I'm probably gonna have to refill our pentaxid here. No, no, I don't. Man, this thing. Whew. Yeah, for CV, it's it's not bad. I, I wish it just had more. I didn't have to remodel it for grow plots. All right, whoa, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous, guys. Let's look at what they did. That's we're drifting towards the moon. I don't want that. Oh my goodness, this game has come really far, guys. This game has come real far. Okay, let's have a look at the system. See what we got here. Uh, okay, breathable, no. Don't want that. Okay, two more gas giants. I think that's what they are. What is this? Satellite. Let's go check that out, guys. Let's go check that out. Some sort of satellite thing, and if there is danger, I am I am leaving. Remind me to put my shields up when we get there. Interesting. There could be some interesting loot or clues. Uh, let's get our shields up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this is Xerox territory, my friends. Um, what do we got? There is a resource. They have Pentaxid. And Xerox trading station. So there's three Pentaxid things, and I'm sure they are well guarded. So we're going to leave this alone. We don't necessarily need Pentaxid. Uh, yeah, these are uninhabitable. Oh, what's this? Okay, breathable. No, zero gravity. That doesn't seem right. What about no, the planet? Here we go. Uh, not breathable. Well, gravity, barren metal. There's a restroom. Zask, copper, silicon, gold. It would be nice to get that uh, a restroom, but uh, no, we're not going to do that. I want to find a habitable planet. Something deep in Xerox territory. So this is an M star. We haven't tried a B star, have we? What what's up with the B star? I don't know, two six times the mass of the surface. Okay, just started. They're extremely luminous and blue. That seems like what we want. Extremely luminous. Lock target. Oh wait, that is out of Xerox territory. Never mind. This is not where we want to go. Alright, yeah, let's go. Hmm. We're in Alishka. What about Alumba, a K type star? Slightly cooler. Okay, yeah, this this looks nice. I like this. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I never imagined the search for a decent planet would be so difficult considering the number of systems we've been in. Oh, shields. Whoa, hello. Hello, I'm not flying into you. I don't feel like dying today. Is there anything around here? Nope, of course not. All right, let's have a look. Dostal. Breathable, no. Not okay. What is this? So much to explore, guys. So much to explore. Also not breathable, and really nothing there worth getting. So, we are moving on. Okay, good. I like how it traces our path. That that really helps. Um, huh. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Beer, Beerfeed 
to Gamma. Just gotta find where it is. I did lock the target, yes. Oh, okay, down here. I'm just gonna warp right by the sun and hope my CV doesn't melt. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Oh, space to me is terrifying, guys. I Something about it makes me really uncomfortable. Okay, Raisu. Not breathable. Not breathable. Not breathable. Okay, what resources do they have before I just go writing them off? Yeah, this... Oh, well. No, I need a place with some rares. I, okay, you know what? I don't care if it's breathable anymore. If it has the right uh, resources, then yes, we will go there. And I will suck it up and stop being a, a little bitch baby about it. There we go. Okay, but it's not going to be here. So uh, let's go to... We came from a G-type star. So let's try this. That's 32 light years. Probably can't get there. Uh, let's try this. We'll lock the target. There we go. Man, I can't believe how long our pentaxid's lasting. And thank God I picked a bunch of it from those fields uh, before I before we did this. Okay, Brian. Planet called Brian. All right, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing here, but this is just a stepping stone to get to. Um. Here, another G-type star. Matthew Leg. Lock target. It would be so very nice to be able to get a habitable planet, like, well, one where you can actually breathe, but uh, as long as it's, oh, oops. Oh, I have the Pentaxid, hang on. There you go. Happy? Let's go. God, they made this game so much bigger. So much bigger. Okay, let me get a trajectory away from the giant burning sun. Alright, we got some options here. What do we got here? There's titanium. UEFA 1. Eat. Its name is Eat. Really? Uh, no. Well, I mean, there's some decent resources. There's titanium, which we really need. Again, I know I'm being picky here, guys, but I'm going to have to go with a solid no. Well, it's out there. No one knows. Plenty of Vega. Ooh. Well, actually, I was looking at the wrong thing here. No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. It's on planet. Let's see. This is breathable. Oh, look it. And we got a restroom. Copper, gold, titanium. Hey, guys. I think we found it. I think we found it. It's an ocean planet, which is fine. It's large. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Yeah, guys, we found it. We are invading Xerax territory. Oops. That's going to be it. I don't care if it's an ocean planet or not. That means there's probably going to be some good stuff under the water. Plant seeds of stowaways in the chinks of jackboots, creatures, ducks, and containers introduced. Okay. Lock target. Here we go. All right. Our new home, guys. But before we go, let me put auto brake on. Let's make sure that we have the last pieces for the factory. Or that for our new base, uh, we ha only have 16 growing plots. We need 18. So what happened? Um, all right, let me get out. Uh, probably wasn't making the uh, fertilizer stuff fast enough. Nutrient solution. Uh, concrete blocks. Two more. No, 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 no. Stop. There we go. All right, and let me adjust. This thing, you can turn off now and put that back in the input. Ooh, make me meat. 
can meet. Yeah, make it, make it, do it. Yeah, good. Okay. You should be done. Oh, I should have had you off this whole time, but whatever. All right. Uh, player. Let's get... Uh, where is it? I will take those. Oh, I can't take all those. I'll plug into you. Do this. And where's the carbon substrate? There we go. That's I believe that's all we were missing, correct? Oh, and some stone dust. That's easy. Uh oh, made way too much. 94 stone dust. I think we have that. We should have that. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, let's make a hundred quickly. Thank you. And hoop. Start production. One hour. That's easy. Okay. Do that standing on our heads. Uh, let's get rid of what I have here. All right. We're good, guys. We are absolutely good now. Uh, how's our fuel situation? Everything's a okay. So let's go and land and find us a new spot. All right. Where, where, where did she go? Uh, turn off auto brake. Okay, it's gonna be down here. Oh, I love that you can see the planets, guys. That is just so awesome. I, I love it so much. All right, and when we get there, we're turning on shields. This episode's running long, guys, I, I know, but why not? Um, I had a bit of time. All right, shields up. And let's give a blink. What do we got here? Okay, we got some sort of thingy. What's that? What's that? This is all Xerax space, of course, so I don't expect to see anything else except Xerax. So let's aim for that little bit of green right there. Let's put our uh, auto brake back on. Yeah, we're not fit to go up against any of that uh, or even approach asteroids because I'm sure that there are fighters. If it's just drones, we could handle it, but yeah, level 7, level 7. So this is all fairly high level stuff. Well, there's something right next to us. Let's let's look at that. Is that too far? Yeah. Yeah, I we'll come check it out later. This this is our priority right now. Let's find us a decent place to set down on this planet. And then I could take the Merc MX5E to do some scouting, which I'm going to do. Uh, let's aim for the green. That way we can definitely get some trees and all the water we could ever want for O2. I'm happy with this. All right, auto brake on, entering atmosphere. Let's go ahead and find a good place to set down. Ooh, okay, we are entering, we're in Xerox territory. Oh, I knew it. I knew that they would occupy this. But you know what we're going to have to do? We are going to have to, um, likely, I, I'm guessing all the land masses, at least all the good ones, are probably covered by them. Hmm. We need a good place where I could flatten it out. And I think it's going to be right here, guys. And that means that the Xerax are going to attack us almost immediately, I'm sure. But that's okay because uh, the uh, base that I've chosen has turrets on it and I have an additional turret that I stole from uh, our old base. And this looks like a perfect place. And I have no fear of that Xerox POI. I don't know what it is exactly. What is it? Epsilon Resistor. Level 7. Yeah, we'll see about that, my friend. We will see about that. I bet my gun... Let's see how my guns and shields hold up against it. Uh, yeah, let's actually set them to base. Oh my god, before I do this. Just real quick, because I'm curious if we could uh, hit them. Thruster. 
Where's turrets? There we go. Uh, hello. All right, Let's set them to bases. Generator, thruster, turrets. Yep. Okay. Let's let's have a little hover over this guy and see if they could actually um, take down our shields. Now it is only a tier one shield that we have. Okay, and they're behind us. What am I doing? Had we tier two shields, this would probably be a lot easier. I could just hover over it because we still do have what? Uh, three cannon turrets on each side for a total of six. So let's see how they hold up against this thing. We can get this the hell out of here. Now they do have lasers which are definitely going to uh, hurt. Okay, are you guys gonna, you guys gonna engage? I can't... Okay, they're not really hitting me. And my turrets are not engaging, are they? Come on. What's it gonna take, guys? Wake up. Wake up. Bases! Oh, I didn't hit apply. There we go. Turrets. Aces, apply to group. Alright guys, wake up. There we go. Oh god, my shields are down. My shields are down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's a good thing I saved a template. Wow. <laughs> that was bad. That was, uh, that was amateur. Amateurish at best. What do they blow up? Anything important? Okay, I'm not seeing any hull breaches, but man, they chewed my shields to bits. Yes, they did. How's our Pentaxid situation? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Shit, that sucks. That's okay. Uh, it just looks mostly like a defensive structure. There's not much to it. Um, if I could chew up those damn uh, turrets, we could actually get through there, but we'll worry about that later. We will worry about that later. We're going to set down back up over here and get our base moving. So that's going to be for tomorrow's episode. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this one. I enjoyed the search for a good home, and I believe that we found it despite all its flaws. In fact, I'm actually tempted to build a mountain base dug into the mountain. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, again, I... I'm recording this like five or six days early, but by the time you see it, uh, it'll probably already be done. So I still appreciate your comments. Uh, anything that you guys have to say, support, gripes at all, be sure to leave it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, please do consider subscribing because there is plenty more to come. I love you guys. Mike Tannock out.